we're all waiting in anticipation. It's good. Good. Good afternoon, and thank you all for joining us today for this exciting, exciting announcement. Bonjour, merci de vous joindre à nous pour cette nouvelle excitante. I am Wayne Wasco, Minister of Advanced Education, Skills and Immigration with the Government of Manitoba. I want to take a moment to thank my colleagues, Premier Stephenson and Minister Gordon, for being here for today's exciting announcement. I would first like to acknowledge that we here in Manitoba in its entirety reside on treaties one, two, three, four, and five lands, which are the traditional territories of the Anishinaabe, Cree, Oji Cree, Dakota, and Dene peoples, and the homeland of the Métis Nation. We have several guests joining us today, and I want to take a moment to recognize them. Please hold your applause until after I've gone through the list. We have Dr. Michael Benarosh, University of Manitoba President. We have Dr. Neetha Dick, University of Manitoba Dean of Nursing. And several individuals from here, uh, Université de Saint Boniface. Dr. Alexandre, Alexandre Brassard, Dean of the Faculty, Faculties of Arts and Science. We have Dr. Peter Dorrington, VP of Academics and Research. Mr. Richard Frechette, VP of Administration and Finance, Mr. Daniel Gagne, Dean of the School of Nursing, S Nursing Sciences and Health Studies, Ms. Lucille Griffiths, Director of Finance, Mr. Alphonse Lasso Helu, Chair of the Board of Governors. And finally, and absolutely not last, Dr. Sophie Buffard, President of the University de Saint Boniface, who will speak to you all later in the program. Welcome all. This past July, our government committed to adding additional seats to the nursing programs across the province to ensure that we have a strong work workforce now and into the future. I would like to invite Premier Stephenson to share more. Premier Stephenson. There we go, just broke my mask. There we go. Good morning, everyone. Thank you, uh, Wayne, for that introdu introduction. Bonjour, il me fait plaisir d'être ici aujourd'hui à Saint Boniface, alors que nous franchissons une autre étape importante de notre engagement à faire en sorte que le Manitoba ait un solide programme de sang infirmiers uh, maintenant et à l'avenir. Thank you uh, to my colleagues, Minister Iwasco and Ministers Gordon for, for joining me here today for this important announcement. And I want to thank Dr. Uh, Sophie Bouffard as well, uh, President of Université de Saint Boniface and your team for hosting us here this afternoon. It's always great to be in Saint Boniface. I also want to welcome and acknowledge uh, Michael Benarosh, University of Manitoba President, uh, Netha Dick, uh, University of Manitoba Dean of Nursing, and I'm uh, not sure if Fred Meyer is here as well, I'm not sure, but uh, uh, thank all of those uh, and all those uh, as well who we had the opportunity to meet just earlier who are here with us today. Thank you to all of you for your leadership, dedication, and willingness to adapt your programming and operations to meet the evolving needs of the pandemic and Manitoba's future workforce. Our government is keen to work closely and collaboratively with our post-secondary institutions and employers so Manitobans and newcomers can gain the skills to build their careers right here at home. I want to recognize and commend the incredible contribution of nurses working in hospitals, personal care homes and community home care services across our province. We know that this pandemic has put an enormous strain uh, on our nurses and our healthcare system, so we thank, thank them for that. Their contributions uh, to patient safety and quality care have never been uh, needed or appreciated more than ever than the, than the last two years. And so today I am pleased to announce uh, 
$1.5 million to fund the first phase of this expansion that will add 500, or sorry, 259 nurse training seats at five post-secondary institutions across the province as part of our multi-year plan to add almost 400 seats. J'ai donc le plaisir d'annoncer aujourd'hui un financement de 19.5 millions de dollars pour la première étape de cette expansion qui ajoutera 259 places de formation en soins infirmiers dans cinq établissements post-secondaires de notre province dans le cadre de notre pl plan pluriel visant à ajouter près de 400 places. The significant investment the, will expand nursing seats by almost 50% at full implementation. The new seats will be located throughout the province in addition to campuses in Winnipeg, Brandon, and Thompson. Another five communities in rural and northern Manitoba will benefit from these new uh, nursing seats closer to home. We believe it's important to offer programs closer to home. This not only increases access to opportunities for students, but also supports healthcare facilities and communities who recruit graduates of these programs. I'm pleased to share that we have worked collaboratively with post-secondary institutions to increase their capacity in a sustainable manner that will increase the pool of trained nurses well into the future. And I would like to thank these institutions for their efforts and response to the urgency of this challenge. Our government is committed to building a better health care system for all Manitobans that includes a strong nursing workforce that is able to care for our health needs with skills and compassion now and into the future. Thank you. Et merci. It's always a bit of a process. Thank you, uh, Premier. Yesterday, I had the pleasure of announcing 37 nursing seats at the University College of the North in Thompson. This announcement highlighted the desire for students in the North to have the opportunity to study closer to home and find employment close to home as well. I would like to invite Minister Gordon now to say a few words. Good afternoon, bonjour. Thank you, Minister Iwasco, for the introduction. We know that these additional nursing seats that the Premier has announced means more nurses work in our, in our healthcare system. This announcement builds on the province's commitment to create close to 400 new seats over the next several years, as well as other initiatives to support nurses in Manitoba. Increasing intensive care unit, ICU nurse capacity. Um, uh, they will also be used to support internationally educated nursing applicants to begin practicing in Manitoba. We will be introducing the province's first uh, undergraduate nursing employee program. And we've added 60 new full-time nursing positions to ICUs at the Grace Hospital, St. Boniface, and Health Sciences Center hospitals in Winnipeg and in Brandon. I join the Premier in recognizing and commending the incredible contributions of nurses working in hospitals, personal care homes, and community home care services across the province. And as I've said many times before, this pandemic has put an enormous strain on our nurses and our health care system. And our government remains committed to building a better health care system for all Manitobans. And that health care system will include a strong nursing workforce that is able to care for our health needs with skills and compassion now and into the future. Congratulations to all the recipients. Thank you. Merci.
Thank you, uh, Minister Gordon. Il me fait de grand précieux de raconter le connaître les efforts de le docteur uh, Bouffard et de son équipe qui ont placé l'Université de Saint Boniface à l'avant-garde de l'expansion des places en soins infirmiers au Manitoba. I would like to invite Dr. Bouffard to share a few words. Dr. Bouffard? Madame la Première Ministre, Madame la Ministre de la Santé, Monsieur le Ministre de l'Éducation postsecondaire, distingués invités, collègues, we're delighted to, to welcome you on our campus. Bienvenue. L'Université de Saint-Boniface est ravie de recevoir la confirmation d'un octroi récurrent de plus d'un million de dollars provenant du Fonds pour la stabilisation du personnel infirmier, lui permettant d'augmenter de 30 le nombre de places dans son programme de baccalauréat en sciences infirmières et de 50 dans son programme de diplôme en sciences infirmières auxiliaires. En plus de l'accueil de plus grandes cohortes au sein de nos deux programmes, je me permets d'offrir des précisions sur deux autres volets de ce financement qui ne doivent pas passer sous silence. En effet, les offices régionaux de santé desservant les communautés francophones constatent un besoin important d'infirmiers et d'infirmières auxiliaires bilingues, notamment en milieu rural. Alors, ce financement additionnel confirmé aujourd'hui permettra aussi à l'Université de Saint-Boniface de mettre de l'avant des mesures visant à augmenter la participation des étudiants et des étudiantes francophones en milieu rural. De plus, nous savons que le diplôme en sciences infirmières auxiliaires sert déjà de voie d'insertion professionnelle pour les nouveaux arrivants francophones. Malheureusement, le critère d'admission en anglais empêche plusieurs de ces personnes issues de l'immigration de s'inscrire dans ce programme en ce moment. Moteur important de l'immigration francophone vers le Manitoba, l'Université de Saint-Boniface, grâce à ce financement additionnel, pourra donc mettre sur pied une formation d'anglais langue seconde intensive et non créditée, de quelques mois visant à amener les personnes qui souhaitent s'inscrire au diplôme en sciences infirmières auxiliaires d'obtenir le niveau d'anglais né nécessaire pour l'admission au programme. Alors, la formation d'anglais en langue seconde sera conçue pour créer un bassin de recrutement non seulement pour le diplôme, mais aussi pour le certificat d'aide en soins de santé qui est offert en français ici à l'Université de Saint-Boniface. Comme unique fournisseur de diplômes officiellement et professionnellement bilingue en sciences infirmières et seule école manitobaine de sciences infirmières faisant l'objet d'agréments, d'unités et de programmes auprès de l'Association canadienne des écoles de sciences infirmières, l'Université de Saint-Boniface est un acteur important dans la réalisation des objectifs du gouvernement du Manitoba conférés à soins communs « Shared Health » la planification de l'offre des services de soins de santé en français, bien sûr, et la planification des ressources humaines nécessaires pour cette offre de, de soins de santé en français. Nos diplômés bilingues permettent également au gouvernement du Manitoba d'offrir activement des services en français dans les régions sanitaires, et ce, en conformité avec la politique sur les services en langue française et les lois pertinentes de notre province. Bien sûr, euh, les projets pour lesquels nous recevons aujourd'hui confirmation de financement répondent directement aux quatre objectifs que le gouvernement du Manitoba s'est fixé dans le cadre de sa stratégie relative aux compétences, aux talents et aux connaissances pour le marché du travail. Et cette expansion de l'offre en sciences infirmières s'inscrit vraiment dans notre nouveau plan stratégique de l'USB, euh, qui est une force de changement, et plus spécifiquement notre axe numéro un sur nos programmes et la recherche, où on dit nous adaptons nos programmes et formations pour répondre aux aspirations étudiantes, aux besoins de la communauté et aux nouvelles tendances d'un monde en transformation. En résumé, l'augmentation du nombre de places approuvées permettra à l'USB de produire un plus grand nombre de diplômés bilingues du plus haut calibre, tout, euh, tous rigoureusement formés pour répondre aux besoins en matière de santé de la population manitobaine dans son ensemble, à ceux de la francophonie manitobaine en particulier. Alors, une réponse unique et importante à la pénurie d'infirmières et d'infirmiers que le gouvernement du Manitoba cherche à résorber. Merci. Thank you. Encore une fois, bravo, Dr. Bruffard, pour votre leadership et votre collaboration et toi avec l'équipe de mon ministère. This investment also supports 
the implementation of our skills, talent, and knowledge strategy by ensuring people have more access to post-secondary education and aligning education and training opportunities to Manitoba's labour market needs. Before we conclude, I want to thank our post-secondary institutions for working collaboratively with us to make this expansion possible. Our government will continue to work with post-secondary institutions to identify additional opportunities and funding requirements to add additional nursing seats. Thank you, merci, joyeux Noël, Merry Christmas, and Happy Holidays. I would now invite the media for questions on today's announcements. Correct. Great question. So that's a two-part question. So as, as we all know, that for over 20 years we've had some difficulties, I guess, recruiting, recruiting nurses and, and retaining nurses. And so uh, back in the, in the spring, uh, the former health minister and now Premier, Premier Stephenson and myself and, and some of our other colleagues uh, basically encouraged and, and suggested that maybe, you know what, maybe we just need to increase some nursing seats. And so uh, with the work and the collaboration with our post-secondary institutions, that's where we are from our announcement uh, from in July, the 400, and today we're rolling out uh, the 259 uh, plans for, for additional seats today. I'll turn the second part over to Minister Gar Gordon. I'll be stealing some of Minister Wasco's thunder because these, the second half of your answer pertains to his ministry. So we also have an internationally educated nursing program. Uh, we have invited applications. We have over 1,200 applications received. Those are working its way through the licensure system. And we, we hope to welcome more nurses into our system, as I mentioned in my opening remarks. Also, the undergraduate nursing education program. I, I was pleased to see that uh, over 75 applicants came forward from third and fourth year graduates. Those individuals want to be in the system in their third and fourth year so that when they complete their Bachelor of Nursing program, they can hit the ground running. We continue to invite individuals who are outside of the sector and outside of the field to join us in the health system. A very rewarding and fulfilling career. I worked for over 10 years in the system side by side with those nurses and uh, we're always encouraging through incentives and working very closely with Manitoba Nurses Union to encourage more individuals to come on board and, and join us in our health care system. Well, I, I do want to say that it, several individuals have, are still in the system and uh, have joined the system since in the last two years. Um, some, even friends of mine, have said uh, that, that had retired or, or gone on to do other things have come back. And so incentivizing through, as you know, um, uh, finalizing a very um, a, a collective agreement with, with our nurses and, uh, and uh, working very closely with Manitoba Nurses Union and College of Registered Nurses of Manitoba, there's still a lot of, of individuals who want to join the system and, and we welcome and encourage them to, to get on board. Very, as I said, rewarding and full, fulfilling career. And, and it gets better uh, as we work together, nurses and other professionals within the system. Thank you, everybody.